Hey guys, Ace Brian here with the Yu-Gi-Oh! opening today. As you see in front of us, we got some Millennium Packs, but these aren't any regular Millennium Packs. They don't have five cards in it. They have three cards. These are the Light Edition. I went to Dollar Tree looking for Pokemon and Pokemon Go. If you're not playing it, then get up on that. But I was at Dollar Tree uh, just looking around for Pokemon. Uh, There's like a Flareon in the area or something like that. So I went inside and I know they had uh, card uh, trading card stuff. I know I did Pokemon openings and Dragon Ball Z, like dollar... Uh, dollar packs of stuff and I saw the Yu-Gi-Oh ones and I saw the light edition and Millennium Pack has some cool stuff like card demise and just classic cards like that so I decided to get 11 of them uh, I thought I counted 10 but I guess my counting was off so we got 11 packs and they're first edition so hopefully we get at least one foil out of these 10 packs uh, I don't think you're guaranteed a rare so let's see if we get something cool a card demise would be awesome because that's the money card of the set, I believe. And we did get a rare. We got the uh, Flame Swordsman with the alternate art. They have a lot of alternate cards, uh, art cards in here. So, uh, Black Eyes Metal Dragon and uh, Guildford Lightning. Very, very cool. At least we got a rare. And uh, a lot of classic cards. So, let's go with pack number two. Ooh. Well. Got two rares in a row at least. We got uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight, alternate art, uh, five headed dragon, always cool to get, and uh, Andorra the Dragon of Destruction. Next pack here. Well, I guess it, you are guaranteed rare, so let's see. XYZ Dragon Cannon for our rare. Got a Vorse Raider and a Pendulum Machine. Vorse Raider is cool still. It's a beat stick. And the uh, ABC cannon stuff's coming out too in the new Kaiba structure deck. Alright, so we got an alternate art Celtic Guardian for a rare. A Crush Card Virus, very cool. And a Nightmare Wheel. This used to be ultra rare, I remember that. Alright, which pack is this? This is number four. Packs are real tiny. I don't want to bend them. So we got another flame swordsman, uh, Karibo classic, a B skull dragon, a black skull dragon. Very cool. Very nostalgic pack. All right, we have five packs left, so we're at number six. Uh, number six, yes. Another Celtic guardian here, uh, relinquished. Very cool. And another nightmare wheel. Let's see you. Very cool. Alright, we got uh, Panther Warrior. This is the alternate art as well. Uh, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon again. And a Visor Desk. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright, we got another XYZ Dragon Cannon. A Black Illusion Ritual to go with our Relinquished. And a Dark Master Zork. So let's see if we get his... Uh, Ritual card. All right, three more packs. Let's see if we get a foil. If I can open it. So these are at Dollar Tree. So if you have a Dollar Tree near you and just want to do a fun opening or test your luck, uh, go get them. Only a dollar. So Path Warrior again, Pendulum Machine, and Crush Card again. All right. Oh, and we got a foil. Super rare. Uh, Sky Galloping Gaia the Dragon Champion. Very cool. It's Gaia the Fierce Knight with a dragon type monster. Alright, well, at least we got a foil. At least it is known you could get foils out of this. We also got Scapegoat and Shrink. So, for the uh, goat deck, if you want to make those. And last pack, uh, let's try to get a card demise. Might as well. Might as well go for it. No, got me excited a little bit, but it's Symbol of Friendship. If you've seen the first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, they get a Sharpie and put a smiley face on their hands. And we got a, a Five-Headed Dragon and a another Gandor, the Dragon of Destruction. So, uh, the comments are pretty cool. A lot of nostalgia cards, uh, crush cards, so cool. Uh, Kribo, of course. Force Raider. Uh, Five-Headed Dragon is kind of weird to look at in common, but... And scapegoat's always cool too. 
And with the rares, symbol friendship, of course. A couple Panther Warriors, a couple XYZ Dragon Cannons, a couple, pretty much two of each except for a uh, guy in the first night, which is uh, pretty cool. So I have doubles of stuff. I can use this in my uh, goat deck just to have it randomly in the in the uh, in this in the extra deck. So, and of course we got the uh, Sky Galloping guy, the Dragon Champion. So at least we got a foil. At least you know you could get foils out of these cards. They're well, it was one in eleven packs, so. Hey, it's only ten dollars. It was like a little, it was pretty much close to twelve dollars to get eleven packs. So it's still very cool. Uh, very nostalgic cards in these, and uh, just some random cool stuff in here. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to get more of this stuff. Uh, there's a ton of it, and there's people that play Yu-Gi-Oh! Mario, but not like too much to grab uh, Millennium packs because they're only looking for card demise, and they might as well just buy singles online or somewhere. So. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.